Hey guys, as you might know, I just updated my game Castle Escape to version 3.1, and you guys really like the 3.0 update a few weeks ago. Somehow Castle Escape 3.0 became my most popular project on Scratch with just over 100k views at the time I'm recording this. And that is why I feel like it's the right time to make this video. Today, I'm going through the original inspiration, the difference between the update and what I want to do with this game Castle Escape in the future. Now, let's go all the way back to the original Castle Escape 1.0, released on March 14th, 2020. 14 days after I made this account on Scratch. This is how it all started. I started developing this game a week or two before it was uploaded, and it was the most difficult game I made at the time. I've never made a proper game before. I wouldn't call any of my previous projects a real game. They're, they're, just, they're just terrible. When I first started this game, however, I wanted to make something like Soul Knight, a RPG game that I'm pretty sure some of you know. I had to cut a lot of corners with the first version. As you can see, there's so many characters on the thumbnail, but the only working one was the knight. It only had 5 levels and the boss battle was just simply bad. I don't, I don't want to talk about that. Now let's talk about version 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4 released between April 3rd and 18th. There was no 1.1 because I just didn't know how game versions worked back then, apparently. <laughs> These versions had nothing too significant, just some minor bug fixes. And then came update 1.5, released on April 29th. I did a major graphics overhaul, especially with the background and the walls, and I finally included a piece of audio, the background music. But the audio quality was pretty trash, as it was played and then re-recorded, because I didn't know how to download audio at the time. I don't... Uh, this is when I thought to myself, I probably should include some form of other characters, as the past updates has been the same gameplay with the same levels, and it's getting a little bit boring with each update. And that is when I decided to release Castle Escape 2.1 on May 30th. I finally coded the promised new characters, Wizard, Bandit, and... No, not the Advanced Knight, the Archer. I... I... Sorry, Advanced Knight, but that was just not good. It was a bad idea. This version received many positive comments, but it strengthened a fundamental problem that existed since version 1.0, the boss battle. When I finished the first four levels, I really just wanted to finish the game and get over it, and I got kind of lazy with the boss fight, which resulted in a pretty much static boss. With the introduction of ranged characters in version 2.1, it made it even easier to fight the boss without taking any damage. Now, I took a bit of a break from this series and experimented with other games, notably Dungeon Escape. Like the procrastinator that I am, I continue to ignore the previous mentioned problems with version 2.2 and 2.3, released in early July and early August. There's not a lot of new things except for bug fixes or attempted bug fixes, and 2.3 was mainly another visual update, but this time focused on the sprites. I mean, come on, we can all agree that this just looks way better, right? Now, it's time for version 3.0. This is probably the version that I'm the most proud of. This version included better graphics, better and new sound effects, new and randomized levels, and finally fixed a huge bug that has been plaguing this game since the beginning. Uh, okay, you guys get the idea. Just, I, I'll just get to it. This bug has been pointed out since the beginning, but I never knew how to fix it. Now, here's what happened. Since I didn't know how to apply the hitboxes when I first made the game, when you swing your sword at the exact same time you exit a room, the new level would appear with the bottom door closed, and because of how the movement code works, it makes you stuck inside the door, unable to move and unable to teleport to the top of the next level. This forces you to restart the game and lose all your progress, and just provides a very bad experience overall. As it turns out, it was a pretty simple bug to fix. Maybe I just became a better coder over time, or maybe I was just really bad when I first made it. And finally, we have the new version 3.1, which includes a redesigned boss level, fixed bugs with bandits and archers, and a lot of character balancing. And with this update, Castle Escape finally feels like a polished, complete game. However, that's not it. In future updates, I'm really looking forward to features like 
infinite mode, hard mode, and maybe even hosting an event where you could design your own level and the best ones will be included. Maybe I will even make a story mode and really develop the lore behind the game. I feel like this is the only game that has potential to become something really good. I mean, just look at my second most popular game, Dungeon Escape. It's just a bunch of blobs jumping around. I mean, how do you expand with that? There's a lot of things I didn't mention in this video, such as uh, how the in-game currency changed, how some characters are designed and some characters are dropped, but I don't have the time to get into that in this video. Uh, if you guys want to follow up or a part two of this when uh, another version came, comes out in the future, uh, definitely let me know. Anyways, that is it for this game dev video. Tell me if you guys want me to make this kind of video for other games too, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching.